driving through the quiet and scenic village roads, we are about to reach our destination. So we are in Sakleshpur, a remote pocket of Sakleshpur. Exactly where it is, I will give you a link in the description. But now we are planning to go on a little friendly trek. And the place is called Etina Bhuja. I am sharing the details. But before that, let's see the scenery of the Aspas. And where are we? Okay. और अभी हम चालू करेंगे अपना हल्का फुल्का ऑफ रोड ये जो ट्रेल देख रहे हैं दिस इज क्वाइट गुड फॉर माय स्कॉर्पियो टू ट्राई सम गुड ऑफ रोडिंग तो लेट्स बिगिन विद दैट We set off early morning for the trek. There was almost no crowd on the road. It was completely empty. Roads were nice, well laid, newly laid, I would say. And uh, off we are to the parking spot of the trekking. So we have reached the Etina Buja parking. And this road. Leads to nowhere. ये लगता है प्रसाधनी कार्यक्रम के लिए बना गया बनाया गया है और हमारी गाड़ी वहाँ पे खड़ी है और अभी हम ट्रैक चालू करने वाले हैं। कल रात को बारिश हुई थी इसलिए मौसम थोड़ा सा misty और foggy दिख रहा है यहाँ पे। काफी mist है लेकिन ठंडा भी है तो इस मौसम में ट्रैक करने का मजा आएगा। तो let's go. And Koel ji, are you ready? And Koel was helping us reading all the Kannada sign boards. So, we were written on the Tina Buja 3 km and all. So, she was telling us to read it. It was a very good thing. You Koel. So, this is the start of the trail to the Tina Buja trek. And here, there are 2 km. So, let's continue. With a little safety, otherwise, माइट ट्रिप एंड फॉल यहाँ पे लीचेस भी है तो थोड़ा और देख के जाना है इट्स क्वाइट मशी क्वाइट स्लशी कोयल हाउ आर यू फीलिंग कोयल थोड़ी डरी हुई है लीचेस के डर से पैर उठा उठा के जंप करके स्टैम्प कर कर के चल रही है हाँ हेलो डरपोक हाँ सो आफ्टर अ बिट ऑफ स्लश there was a dry and rocky trail waiting to welcome us but the best is yet to come so keep glued to the screen so after the open trails we were about to enter the forest the trails were getting misty lush green and slushy as well. It was like a fairy tale kingdom. एक तो जंगल ऊपर से इतना कोहरा या फॉग, लेकिन ट्रेल जो था वो काफी well defined था, तो it was easy to follow और खो जाने का डर यहाँ पे नहीं था। और अभी हम just थोड़ा सा ही दूर है पीक से, but the peak is not yet visible. Well आने, the peak is not yet visible. Mist से ढका हुआ है, but it's quite close. Coel will make it. Yes. 
<laughs> so this is Hetina Buja. All around me is mist and cloud. Charo taraf khali safed hai Hetina Buja ke peak mein. Visibility bahut bahut hi low hai. It's like maybe around uh, 30 to 40 feet is visible. Uske baad pura safed hi safed. Aage kya hai? Mujhe kuch nahi dikh raha hai. So yahan pe ham log aas pas ka jo scenery hai uska footage nahi le pa rahe hai, but this has a charm and beauty of its own. And there is a misty girl who is coming here. So this is the correction footage. I have told you that we have reached the peak. Actually, it was not like that. Due to mist, I couldn't see the rest of the way. But it's still a long way to go. And it's still a long way to go. And it's still a long way to go. So we have a little trail left. Quite steep now. <laughs> but distance are the And it's all misty. So it's slowly starting to get a bit sunny. Like in nature, we be core out not easier. ये जो लास्ट पार्ट मैंने क्लाइम किया, इट इज ऑलमोस्ट 90 डिग्री, सो क्वाइट स्टीप, एंड आई हैड टू लाइक क्लाइम ऑन ऑल फोर्स टू गेट हियर, तो इट वाज क्वाइट डिफिकल्ट और नीचे कुछ लड़के आए थे वो लोग भी क्लाइम नहीं कर रहे देखिए यहाँ पे वो लोग जे जस्ट हॉल्टेड आउट हियर लोग यहाँ पे वेट कर रहे हैं। We are now trying to do the climb, but बोलते हैं ना कि कहीं तो आप जाओगे, but उतरोगे कैसे? So I have to find a way to safely climb down. इसके ऊपर भी एक पत्थर और है, try कर सकता हूँ। Let's see if I can make it to this place. So this is finally the peak of Etina Buja. <laughs> it was quite a difficult climb and the last part was just 90 degrees as I told you. In any way, I have climbed it. I have seen only two people here. Maybe due to the adversity. All around me is completely white so I am not able to take any footage over here. So let's start the climb downwards. You'll not have much company on the top. Upper, both come logi apayenge due to the tough final, maybe 20 to 30 meters holding the camera and also kind of taking this footage. यहाँ पे अभी भी काफी मिस्ट है, कुछ नहीं दिखाई दे रहा है। And as you can see, नीचे के लोग भी मिस्ट में कहीं खो गए हैं। This was an awesome climb. Last part was really challenging और बहुत ही मजा आया इसको कंप्लीट करने में। So I'm going down. My family is waiting somewhere down. तो जाके उनसे मिलते हैं। But before that, this is the way downwards let me hold that यहाँ पे कैमरा थोड़ा मैं बंद करूँगा just और कुछ मीटर आगे जाके बस I can't just do this climb down while holding the camera or I have my forehead strap on my forehead. So, here is Koel and Soumya. I have come down and I have joined them. And this is the way back again, showing you. Very, very steep. So, we are now going back. 
वे बैक द वेदर वॉज द सेम हल्की हल्की बारिश भी होने लगी थी हमने गलती की कि हम अपने साथ में कुछ खाना नहीं लाए थे सो वेन एवर यू आर ऑन ट्रैक जस्ट कैरी एटलीस्ट सम एनर्जी बार्स एंड वाटर बट इसका मतलब ये नहीं कि आप आस पास गारबेज डम करके आगे बढ़ जाएँ Just a note: Don't litter this beautiful place with plastic waste. Please don't spoil the environment. अपना प्लास्टिक अपना साथ लेके चले इधर उधर ना गिराए. Okay, so we are at the Sirin Uru Homestay out here in Sakleshpur, and uh, as you can see, this is away from the hot spots of Sakleshpur, which are always crowded and full of people, full of tourists. Not like you know, kind of. Bisle Ghat, the Manjarabad Fort, and all those areas. It is, I think, in the quietest pockets of Sakleshpur. So we'll just see the homestay from here and the surrounding mountains over here. So ये जो homestay है, if you talk about the theme of the homestay, तो हर homestay का एक theme होता है, कहीं पे कुछ activities होते हैं, कहीं पे waterfall होता है, कहीं पे swimming pool होता है. तो इस होम स्टे के पास अराउंड सिक्स किलोमीटर्स यू हैव गॉट द एटीना बोजा ट्रैक अबाउट विच आई हैव ऑलरेडी शेयर्ड यू द फुटेज द इंफॉर्मेशन और अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट इफ यू हैव द आर्ट ऑफ डूइंग नथिंग इन योर एजेंडा अगर आपको एक ऐसे जगह हॉलिडे पे जाना है जहां आपको कुछ नहीं करना है जस्ट यू वुड लाइक टू रिलैक्स एंड एन्जॉय सो आई थिंक दिस इज वन ऑफ द बेस्ट प्लेसेस टू गो फॉर And this is the cornermost property. So, इसके आगे या पीछे कोई भी vehicle movement, tourist movement या footfalls आपको नहीं मिलेंगे. So, I think this is the quietest corner that you can go for if you are planning for a holiday. So, we have Coil here who is doing the footage for me, and uh, maybe let's see around the place. So now we are we are on the porch in front of the main entrance, and we are going to take a look at this part. Which is kind of like the balcony. So there are four rooms, each having their own private balcony. And also, you can enjoy this beautiful view of nature and coffee plantations. Yes. Hello, everyone. My, I'm Koyal, and I was doing the cameraman few minutes ago. So let me show you around the property a bit. This is the parking area, a nice parking lot. Over here, we have the main entrance with a nice porch around it. And the grass has been laid newly, and there is a little stone path leading upward. There is also beautiful scenery with the mountains. So around. while we are outside, let us also see the beautiful bonfire place where you can also sit out and talk. So now we are heading inside to see what is there. So as soon as we enter we have this huge lounge area there's also a massive TV right here is the dining area and there's a kitchen behind So abhi main aur Koil hai Sirin Uru homestay mein aur wahan pe koi aur hai ha and 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 that's the homestay i think you can see koi aur aur aage badhte hain jangal ke through ये रास्ता देखते हैं कहाँ हमें ले जाती है या सो दिस इज द एंड ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी वी हैव अ नाइस कोजी पॉन्ड आउट हियर और ये है कॉफी प्लांटेशन एंड बीटल नट गार्डन उसके साथ थोड़ा बहुत पेपर का प्लांटेशन भी है वाओ सकलेशपुर में इतना सरीन और इतना साइलेंट कॉर्नर पाना बहुत ही मुश्किल है और आई थिंक वी हैव अचीव इट पॉन्ट के पास जाना है और क्लोज चलो हेलो गाइस इट्स मी ऑन द ब्रेकफास्ट टेबल नाउ बिकॉज आई लव फूड and we have had an amazing peaceful stay over here with basically nobody around because it's as um, my dad said there is basically nobody around for the next 5 6 kilometers and they have also served very nice food over here and this is our breakfast table 